Okay, let's solve the last one from the easy strings. Find the index of first occurrence in a string. I'm Jody. This is Geeking Jody. If you are enjoying this channel, if you are learning from it, I would be very, very thankful if you tell your friends, if you share the world. I also have a free, fully free uh, Linux tutorial for the examinations of LPIC 1 and everything. Anyway, find the index of the first occurrence in a string. Given two strings, needle and haystack, cool, return the index of the first occurrence of needle in haystack. Or minus one if needle is not part of haystack. Because if this is your haystack and this is your needle and it's here, you have to return zero. So minus one because of that. A sample, exactly. Sad, but sad, and your needle is sad, you have to return zero because you have a sad at the starting at zero. Lead code with lead to, so you don't have this, return minus one. And if you had sad but sad and needle was but, I had to return zero, one, two, three, because there is a three in but. Hmm. Looks fun. Let's use C++ as we said in the previous video. Many of the people who program for competitions write in C++. So what's the idea? We have a haystack and we have a needle. We have to see if this needle is somewhere in this haystack. If it's here. We will start from here. I will check my... From the point zero, I will check if I have a needle here. If no, I will go to... Point one. I will check if I have a needle here. No. Let's go to the second character. Do I have it here? No. Let's go to the third one. Do I have it here? No. Fourth one. Do I have it here? Yes. So return four. Very, very straightforward. So I would say we are writing in C++. So four. Int i equals zero. Start from zero. While i is smaller or equal than I don't need to check to the end and if I check I will have an error because if this is my haystack on the last place it's enough to check up to here the i technically it cannot start from here because it won't fit so I will go up to a uh, haystack size minus needle size and I will add one on each iteration. Okay. Hmm. It's always good to write in a good handwriting. Indentation and important will uh, cause problems later if you just write. So now I'm checking for the haystack. I will say four int j equals zero while j is smaller than haystack size no sorry needle size i'm thinking about this equal i think we need it j plus plus and here i want to check for each of the characters if Hashtag i plus j is not equal with needle j because I have this. I started in position a, checking for hashtag by stepping with j. So i plus j, it would be here, should be equal with j. When my j comes here, my i plus j, which points to here, should be equal to needle j. If this is the case, break. This break will break this four. But I have to have a method to understand if I broke it. I break it to make it faster. So I can, when starting going through j, I have this I, I'm searching for this needle. Each time I'm moving here, and on each of these, I will trying all the needle 
as j. As soon as this is not equal with this, I break the loop and say, okay, this is enough. Let's go for the next one. But I need to have a way to understand if I've checked all j and all of them were here. So I can do like this. This is a very well-known pattern. Uh, here I will define a new variable, a Boolean variable, and say found it. I will assume that I found it. But whenever I saw something is not equal, I would say found it equals false. Sorry. And when the J is finished, natural death or breaking it, I would say if found it, return I. Cool. So if I found it, I will return I. If not, I will go for the next I. This should be it. Uh, I smaller than undeclared variable need. Sure. Test it once more. Ah. Error non void function does not return a value. Right. When it's done, I have to return a value. If everything is done and I have not returned one, something, I will return minus one. That's why you need larger monitors. You will see wrong answer. Thank you. Sad. My output was three? How come? Ouch. I was kind of sure that I had something here. Okay, I won't be hired. No one wants a person who is not concentrated when giving an interview. Another error. Runtime error. Obviously, something is out of bound. Ah, see? Always read the error. It's very important. And the good point is, in these kind of questions, this lead code is giving back Okay, in this one you failed. It would be very, very, very difficult or more difficult or difficult there. No, more difficult or very, very, very difficult, super difficult if you didn't have this. And system just said on one of my test cases you failed. That would be very difficult to debug. But when you have this, it's very easy to understand what's the case. If my needle is longer than my haystack, here somewhere I would have an issue. Many of the competitive programmers do like this. If needle size is larger and haystack size return minus one. Ouch, I try to solve it. Save it. So you will just solve the edge cases. Many of the competitive programmers, if you see them, they start with things like this. If the value is empty, if this is blah, blah. They just return the obvious answers and their code just do the thing. Anyway, this was not a great one. The good point is we beat our program beats 100% of the people. I believe we will be hired because of this. Have fun.